Hello, welcome to this video. In today's video, I will introduce you Remark, which is a very promising NFT protocol bringing a new type of NFTs built on the Kusama network. So what is Remark? According to their creators, Remark is the most advanced NFT protocol in the world. And based on my own experience with their native NFT collection called Canaria, I absolutely agree with this bold statement. I will introduce you NFT collection Canaria later in this video. Now, this is the founder of Remark, Bruno Schwartz, and he's very active on Remark's Telegram group. So feel free to go there and ask him any questions about this project. Remark protocol is developed by Remark Association, which is based in Zug, Switzerland. And the goal of Remark is to develop a new, most advanced and highly composable NFTs that can be described as art Legos. So what's the deal here? The thing is that up until recently, all digital collectible NFTs were mostly just simple JPEG pictures, also called PFP, profile picture NFTs. These NFTs have a very little utility. Basically, it is just a digital collectible art, which is nice to look at and admire. And you can also trade them, buy and sell them Sure, but that's basically it. And there is this joke that all of these old types of NFTs that are mostly based on Ethereum blockchain are basically good just for collecting digital dust. Personally, still a few months ago, that NFT craze was totally beyond me and I was not into NFT at all. And I could not understand why some artistic NFT has for some people such a great value and why some NFTs are sold at a very high price when even the most expensive NFT collections like CryptoPunks on Ethereum blockchain, they still provide very little real utility for the owner. So this just didn't make any sense to me. Now, Remark's goal is to change this and turn NFTs into something more advanced and utilizable. They have come up with this new NFT version 2.0 where this new type of NFT will be able to own other NFTs, the owner of such NFT will be able to change some of the visual aspects of such NFT, and these NFTs will also be able to react to your interactions with these NFTs. Basically, the owner of such NFT will be able to change some visual aspects of the NFT with the emotes and emojis that can be easily sent to NFT by clicking the button. So this is Canaria. This is the first Remark's native NFT collection and also the first real example of these advanced NFTs version 2.0. Now, since I've been playing with these Canaria birds for a few weeks already, I'm convinced that these NFTs, which as I've said, are supposed to be much more advanced version of the current traditional NFTs, will provide much higher utility and many more benefits to their owners. Remark's NFT application is called Singular. This is Singular. And this is basically uh, the NFT marketplace exactly as you know it. It allows you to mint, show and trade NFTs. Singular is built on Kusama network. And if I understand it correctly, at the moment, all NFTs listed here on Singular are these NFTs version 1.0. So all of these NFTs are those common NFTs exactly as you know them. Essentially simple image or a digital art Ethereum-like NFT. You can send to these NFTs emotes as you can see here, which means a smiling face or ugly face or a thumb up. So you can send some emotions to these NFTs, but they will not change the visual appearance based on these emotes that you send them. Let's have a look at all the innovations that Remark intends to bring to NFT world with their new version of NFT 2.0. So NFT type 1.0, this is the type of NFT that I just showed you on Singular. They are Ethereum-like, they have on-chain emotes and reactions, but these NFTs do not react to those emotes and reactions in any way. And now finally, what Remark NFT version 2.0 brings to the table. First of all, these NFTs are multi-resource. Now let me explain what is a resource in terms of NFT. A resource is a rendering output. It's the visual of NFT as presented in a certain context. 
Now let's check what this really means in a normal language. Let me pick for example this founder bird, so let's click on him. And now when we click on this multiple square icon, we can see there are actually two different resources for this particular NFT. Now if I was the owner of this bird, I would be able to switch between those two resources as I wish, and the one that I would click on would be shown as the default resource, basically the default picture for this NFT. This is what multiple resource NFT means, simply multiple resources for one NFT. So this particular NFT is now using this kinda more fantasy looking picture of a bird as a resource, but if we look for instance at this super founder bird, we will see that this bird actually has three different resources. The, the drawing of the bird, then this fantasy looking bird, plus this real world bird. And this NFT is using as its resource this more realistic looking picture of a bird. Now what else this NFT 2.0 bring? Here it says evolves over time. That sounds intriguing, but honestly I don't know what exactly that will look like in reality. But evolving NFT is always better than non-evolving NFT, I guess. Now something that I do understand is NFT owns other NFTs. One of the top features of this NFT 2.0 will be the fact that they can actually own other NFTs. So you will own, let's say, the Canaria bird, which is a separate piece of NFT, but this NFT, this bird, will be able to own, for instance, a flag that uh, this bird will be holding in his hand, or a headwear that this bird wears. Let's check now how this works on Canaria bird again. Let me choose, for instance, this rare bird. And now when I click on this backpack icon, I will get to this bird's inventory. Now I can see all other NFTs that are owned by this bird. So this blue rare bird number 771 also owns red, uh, this flag, pride flag and some other stuff like those gems and there is the fish NFT of a fish which is also owned by this bird or also this golden thumb up. So all these separate items are separate NFTs, but they are owned by this bird and you, as the owner of this bird, automatically own all of these NFTs too. Totally cool, right? So simply that old type of NFT version 1.0 cannot own other NFTs. What else NFT 2.0 brings? For example, equips other NFTs. This is what I've just showed you. You can equip your bird with some other items to make the bird look nicer or stronger. For instance, if you equip your bird with a sword or with an armor. Now, the utility of these items will be uncovered in the future when Canaria birds will be utilized in the game and in Metaverse. The launch of the Metaverse or of some parts of Metaverse is scheduled for the fourth quarter of the next year. So it is not enabled now yet, but you can already purchase certain items and equip with them your Canaria birds to change the appearance of the birds. Now another cool feature is changes output based on conditions, rules and emotes. I was listening to Bruno, the founder of Remark, to talk about this feature in one of his crowdcast to Remark community. And he was explaining that this feature will allow you to apply a simple logic to your NFT and your NFT will react to some on-chain and some off-chain switches and triggers. Again, this feature, this ability has not yet been enabled, but in the future this conditional rendering, as Bruno calls it, will be enabled for all birds listed on Canaria and also on that NFT marketplace Singular. Bruno was explaining this conditional rendering with an example of Mona Lisa NFT. Imagine you have an NFT with a picture of Mona Lisa and Mona Lisa will blush when you click on a certain button. Or another example, you have an NFT with a picture of a rocket and the moon and if this NFT receives a certain amount of rocket emojis, the rocket will land on the moon. 
So those NFTs 2.0 will be able to change their visual output based on the emojis they get. That's absolutely amazing in my opinion. Now what else? These NFTs are also multi-chain by default, which means these NFTs are natively connected and compatible with every parachain that connects to Kusama Relay chain. Remark has partnered, for example, with Karura and Bifrost, so that will allow the owner of this NFT to use these NFTs also in other blockchains connected to Kusama. That way, these NFTs will provide a real utility for the owners. For instance, in the future, you will be able to use those Canaria birds on Karura blockchain, for instance, for yield farming. Let's say you will provide liquidity in Karura and Kusama pair, and then you will want to stake this liquidity pool token, and the standard APY will be, let's say, 30%, but because you own this specific NFT, the Canaria bird, you will be entitled to receive higher APY for yield farming, simply because those Remark NFTs 2.0 are multi-chain compatible and will be compatible also with Karura blockchain. This was just one specific example that Bruno mentioned in that crowdcast. And naturally, the type of benefits will depend on that specific blockchain. So, in the future, we could expect to receive similar benefits also on Moonriver blockchain or Bifrost or Shiden. In the future, these NFTs will offer permanent platform benefits to their holders based on those special traits these NFTs have. Naturally, this is not possible now yet, but this is what these NFT 2.0 will commonly allow to their owners in the future. In my opinion, this is very exciting. And lastly, these NFTs 2.0 are also eco-friendly. Again, to be honest, I don't really know what specifically this means, but being eco-friendly is always good especially now when Bitcoin is getting attacked by its critics for its expensive electricity consumption. And in the further future, Remark is also planning to launch NFT version 2.1, which will support on-protocol royalties as well as on-protocol bidding. But I haven't done yet my research about those other features, so I can't really speak about those. So this is the new type of NFT, NFT 2.0, developed by Remark, it will bring many, many new features and possibilities how to utilize your NFT. Personally, I believe that basically all these traditional image NFTs that are built on Ethereum, when compared to this NFT 2.0, will be sooner or later obsolete and outdated. So in a nutshell, these Remark NFTs can own other NFTs, they can have several visual resources, they can change their visual output based on certain conditions and emojis. They can be also used on multiple blockchains to bring to their owners various financial benefits on these networks. Personally, I think that this will be the trend in NFT world. As I said in the beginning of this video, I believe that these Canaria Birds NFTs developed by Remark is the direction where the entire NFT industry will be heading. I would also like to emphasize that I am not associated with Remark in any way. I have purchased two Canaria birds because they were quite expensive. The floor price for one bird is around three Kusamas at the moment. And I also got some Remark tokens when they started trading on Qcoin a few days ago. I'm just quite excited about the whole Remark NFT project and I see a huge potential in those advanced NFTs that they develop, so I felt like sharing this with you. I believe Remark is simply a project to keep an eye on. Naturally, there is still a lot for me to cover about Remark. Therefore, in my next video, I will cover Remark tokenomics and I will also do a review of their NFT marketplace Singular, as well as a more detailed review of Remark's native NFT collection Canaria. I'm hoping you found this video informative. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye bye.